What's up, everybody? Sam Smyers here. So I was on Wikipedia earlier, and I found this list of the Billboard Hot Dance Electronic Songs number ones. And the first year this chart was started was in 2013. And the first number one on that chart was Scream and Shout by Will I Am and Britney Spears. So I thought it'd be fun to go back to that song and recreate the synth sound from the drop. Now, if you're watching this video and you have seen some of my other videos and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Really cool sound. There is like a lower layer, a higher layer, and then you can hear that bit crush sound going on. And now I was listening to the sound in the beginning. Uh, like when I first listened to it, I was wondering if I could get this in like one synth. And I was able to figure out how to get this sound in just using one uh, instance of Serum. So let me show you the MIDI real quick. Now I've got the kick start on there just to make sure that it is pumping with the kick or not getting in the way of the kick. And this is on at about 45%. Let me just go ahead and take this off. And then we can go ahead and remake this synth from scratch. I'll turn the voicing onto mono because it's like a lead sound. And I will turn on this portamento because you can hear the bending in between the lower notes and the higher notes. And this is going to be, I'm going to put this to like 155. And to get the bass sound, I need one oscillator to be lower. So this is going to be negative two octave on this oscillator A. And I'm gonna raise up this unison to seven and lower this detune to let's say about 0 0.05. And eventually I'm gonna be putting a filter on top of this to make it sound more like a pluck. Let's go ahead and take down that level. And then oscillator B, we can leave it on default wavetable again. These are, these are the default wavetables. They're essentially just like saw wave wavetables. Now this one I'm not going to take down the octave, but instead I'm going to take the semitones to plus seven. And then I'm going to raise up the unison to two and lower this detune 2.5 again. So now you can hear the melody, but I will be adding on a filter eventually. Let's go to the envelope one and adjust the settings on this envelope one. I want to give it a bit of a release. So I'll add a release, and then the envelope two is what I'm going to be uh, assigning to the filter to get like a pluck sound. So let's go ahead and adjust this uh, attack, take down, give it a bit of a curve. Let's put this decay around 400 or so, put around there, and then we will give it some release. And then let's turn on the filter, and we will do an MG Low 24 filter. I will make sure that it's turned on for A and B. And then I will turn on key tracking. And key tracking adjusts the filter depending on what note you play. So if you play a lower note, then this cutoff filter will be a lower. And then if you play a higher note, then it's gonna go up and raise up higher. So let's go ahead and put on the envelope two and assign that to the cutoff. And to get this modulation only go one way, I'm hitting shift and option on a Mac. So then I have it going just the uh, to the right, so that's like unipolar or unidirectional, however you want to call it. Then I'm going to take this down to 300 or so. Let's go 330 maybe. And then I'll adjust this modulation to about 30. So let's set this resonance to 15% and then take up the drive to 20%. And then that's all I'm gonna do on the oscillator section. So let's go ahead and add on our effects. This is where we're gonna add on like that bit crush distortion. So when I turn on the distortion, the bit crush distortion is called down sample. Sometimes I call it bit crush because on other like distortions it's called bit crush. And the drive I'm going to set to 30%. And you can hear that how that changes depending on what the drive is. And then the mix will be at 100%. Then I'm gonna add on some EQ, just take out some of that low end. and give it a boost around this is like 2.4 kilohertz. And then I wanted to give it like a bit of a room reverb. I feel like there's a bit of space uh, feeling in the original. 
So I just added on like a plate reverb, put it on a really light mix. You could probably use something like an ambience reverb from Vintage Verb, like by Valhalla, that would probably work as well. So let's go ahead and turn on the kickstart now. And then play it with the drums one more time. So there you have it, the synth from Scream and Shout by Will I Am and Britney Spears.